Hey guys, it's the Chad. Well, when I woke up this morning, I had quite a few things I wanted to get done on the old to-do list. Well, when I walked outside to the old Family Truckster 2000, guess what? Somehow I had picked up the third nail in this brand new set of tires. Go figure. Now, I was lucky enough that I could quickly get some air in it and get it over to the tire repair shop before I had to put the spare on. Well, I know a lot of us aren't gonna be so lucky and we're gonna have to change these tires in our driveway, a parking lot, or even on the side of the road. Well, since I keep getting flats all the time, and I know there's hundreds of thousands of you out there that drive these sweet minivans like I do, why not go through and show you the super secret location of the spare tire on the Dodge Grand Caravan in the Chrysler Town and Country. Now one of the first things you guys wanna do is grab the old owner's manual. Now if you don't have one or you're a man and you just refuse to read instructions or directions, I kinda of see why you're watching my video. Now most spare tires are gonna be located in the trunk of a car, in the back cubby area of a SUV, or on a pickup underneath the bed. Now these minivans, they're a little bit different. Back in 2005, Chrysler introduced what they called the stow and go seating. And if you're not familiar with stow and go, that's where you can actually fold the second and third row seats down into compartments in the floor of these minivans. Now that gives you a huge cargo area and a lot of room for activities. Now the downfall of stow and go was you couldn't put the spare tire in the back of the van any longer, so Chrysler had to come up with some other place to put it. Now they chose to put it in the front undercarriage area in between the driver and passenger seat. Now, was this necessary? Yes, it was. Is it convenient? Absolutely not. But what's convenient about changing your tire on the side of the roadway when cars are whizzing by you at 90 as the drivers are on TikTok eating a Big Mac? It just sucks. Now, what I always recommend is if you do have that flat tire, try to get yourself to an off-ramp, a side street, or even a parking lot. That way, it's a little bit safer when you go to change that tire. Well, in today's video, I wanna go through and show you guys how to locate the tire changing tools, the jack, and how to get that spare tire down out from underneath your minivan. So once you get your van to a safe location, the first thing you wanna do is turn your hazard lights on, go through and set your emergency or park brake, and now we can go through and open the back hatch. So once you get the rear hatch open, the next thing we need to do is locate the tire changing tools. Now, those will be found in a back compartment on the driver's side. Now to access these, you just turn these two clips vertically and remove the door. Now inside of this compartment, you're gonna find two separate bags. One bag's gonna contain the tools to lower down the spare tire, and the other one's gonna be your jack. Now a couple other items you might find in there might be a small air compressor or a bottle of slime. Now if you have a low tire or a flat tire, I highly discourage you guys from putting the slime inside of that tire to get you to the shop. Now, it might get you there, but I can tell you your tire shop is gonna be very upset with you if they go to patch your tire and it's full of slime. A lot of times they'll just refuse to work on it. Now, the items we're gonna to need to get the spare tire down on this minivan is gonna be in this bag, and it's just two lowering rods and a T-handle. So let's go back to the front. So depending on which model minivan you had, some of the consoles would stop right here. This would all be exposed and you would see a plastic plug on the carpet right here. You would pull that out and then you could gain access to the spare tire lowering mechanism. Now on this van, which is the Grand Caravan or Chrysler Town and Country, they have what's called the Super Console or the Ooh La La. Now, if you have this type of console without having the owner's manual or some type of YouTube video to help you figure out where it is, Good luck finding it. Now you're gonna have to jump through some hoops to actually access it, but once you figure it out, it's pretty dang easy. The first step is to come to the back of the console and slide out the rear tray all the way. Next, you're gonna go through to the front cubby, open the door, and remove all the contents. Ugh. Once you get all the contents out, in the bottom you're gonna see that there's this rubber mat, and you're gonna wanna remove that unless it's like thermally fused with soda pop and grossness and underneath it well there it is the spare tire lowering mechanism so the next thing you'll want to do is go through and take your lowering rods and t-handle out of the bag and connect them together and then you'll slide the whole rod assembly down into the lowering mechanism if you get that lined up you can start cranking it down now we're going to go through and turn this counterclockwise or lefty loosey all the way until it bottoms out. It's gonna be a lot of revolutions, it'll take a little bit, but I'll show you why we have to take it all the way out in just a second. 
So once it's bottomed out, you can take the rods and the T-handle and come out to the driver's side. So now I've got the spare tire all the way down onto the ground. So the next thing I need to do is go through and I'm gonna take this T-handle off the rod and if you flip it over, there's actually a hole on the end of it. I'm gonna connect it this way. Now I can go through and drag this spare tire out from underneath the vehicle without getting my, you know, going to town clothes all dirty. So let's do that. So when we go to remove the spare tire from underneath the van, you're gonna have to do it from the driver's side because the exhaust pipe or tailpipe runs along the passenger side and that spare, it just doesn't have the clearance to slide underneath of that pipe. So now you can see why I had to go through and lower that cable all the way down until it bottomed out. That way I could slide it out this side of the van. So now we've got the spare out, we can stand it up on end. And you can see if you pull this cable mechanism doodad thing out, it's got these little flaps or these little wings that are spring loaded. So we need to fold both of those up and push it through the wheel hub. Then you can remove the plastic cover and there is your spare tire. So now hopefully you just pray that it's got some air in it, but it probably doesn't because you've owned this van for years and today's the first day you've ever figured out how to lower it. Awesome. Now once you got your spare tire down, and I'm sure most of you guys know how to jack a vehicle up, but on a Grand Caravan or the Town & Country, this lip right here is reinforced and this is gonna be your jack mounting points. Even though this looks like a fun place to do it, this would be correct. So once you get the spare tire on and all the tools put back away, before you start driving on down the roadway and hear this terrible grinding noise, don't forget your spare tire carrier is still dragging on the ground. So now you guys have seen the super secret location of the spare tires on the Grand Caravan and Chrysler Town & Country. Now hopefully after watching this video, you guys have a little bit more confidence that you can get these spare tires down and get the tire changed. Now, if you guys have one of these sweet minivans like I do, it's not a bad idea to go through and get familiar with the tire changing tools and at least pull that spare down once a year to make sure you have the proper inflation. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the old like button and subscribe and stick around for next week's video. Who knows what I'll bring you next? I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.